of reptilian DNA than the general population, although we have a lot. You know, did he just tell us how they made the pyramids? And she swallowed it. She's what is up, what if us? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Hop in the description, head over to Rumble, and follow me over there. Look, y'all, we at 40. 40, 40 followers. All we need is 10 more. I know I can get 10 people from this video. So go over there and hit that follow button. Also, you guys, I got the shirt per request. Somebody asked for it. And uh, I went on and did it and got it together so you can purchase it now. But the shirt says, you're going to want to stay locked in. Because <laughs> you ain't going to believe this. So, yeah, go over there and purchase your shirts if you want to. Ain't no pressure. But go over there and support your boy. But today we're going to be tuning into some of the most outrageous TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So you're going to want to stay locked in. Because you ain't going to believe this. Observe con atención este video. What? Oh, we know what that is. Esta sorprendente grabación fue reportada a través de redes sociales la noche del domingo 11 de febrero del 2024 desde la nación euroasiática de Turquía. Y en la misma quedó registrado el momento en el que un enorme objeto ubicado en el cielo proyecta un misterioso rayo de luz en tonalidad en que el extraño objeto que está emitiendo este enorme rayo de luz verde permaneció en la zona durante mucho tiempo. Previamente, desde Alemania en el mes de diciembre del 2023, un rayo de las mismas características fue videograbado por un automovilista que circulaba en una oscura carretera de esta nación europea. Can anybody translate that? ¿De qué se tratan estos misteriosos rayos de luz verde? Al realizar un acercamiento podemos observar que expone las mismas singularidades al reportado en Turquía, es decir, que el objeto que lo emite se encuentra en el cielo, en medio de las nubes. La tonalidad verde es la misma, e igualmente por la intensidad de la energía, las nubes a su alrededor se iluminan. Precisamente ahí mismo en Alemania, la noche del sábado 30 de septiembre del 2023. Now, we know of direct energy weapons, right? And although there are some up there, this ain't what that is. I think these are one of those satellites that scan and measure things. But correct me if I'm wrong. New era we are. Okay. Did the Aztecs build this? No. They did not build this. No, the Aztecs, they found it. They found it. 600 years later. Who, who built this? It's a good question. Okay. Nobody knows exactly, but 80% the experts, they mentioned the Greek guys. It was another culture. Uh -huh. So Olmex, the oldest, the mother's culture, the people in Mexico, Aztecs, Mayas, Toltecs, Zapotecs, and many more, they believe it, that Olmex was the number one and was the most. Olmex? That is in the coast, in Veracruz and... It's a, it's a, in, it's a native um, culture. Hey, yo, the past 24 hours have been extremely interesting. This man right here, he is saying he is retiring. And you're like, who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy is. I got you. This is his name. And you're like, I still don't know who this guy is. But what? Yeah, you do. He's the CEO of this company right here since 06. And don't mm. some of y'all got, you know, an account here? For sure y'all do. So why is he retiring? I think I may have a clue why, why he's dipping out. And this is not my words. This is them. This is them. Just take a look at this. And they're saying, don't wait until 2025. They're telling the customer, don't wait until 2025. Hmm. Huh. If you're not familiar with this organization, I would advise you to get familiar because look, there goes that year again, 2025. And look at this question. Look at this question. They're saying 85 million jobs up out of here, up out of here, up out of here. Are you paying attention yet? Oh my goodness, look what else happened in the past 24 hours. That same organization, their guy is stepping back by 2025. What? What? Yes, it's true. And if you go to this website right here, you'll see every major CEO that did the same thing for the past four years. And look, these are com companies 
And look, these are companies that you're familiar with. Look at all these companies. Look at them. Look at them. CEOs is like, I'm up out of here. I'm done. So what do they know that we don't? Oh, they must know about the new economy. And if you have no clue to what I'm talking about, I suggest you go to this website. There's a free download right there about the new economy. Put yourself ahead. You know what I mean? Because these big wigs know what's up. Maybe you don't. But you can put yourself ahead. Oh, they all know the same thing. It's just us that don't know. And we kind of got an idea. And that's why in my earlier videos, I was always saying, man, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And it was not just about a war because, I mean, when you, when you look at the term war, war can mean anything. It could be a war on humanity. It could be a war with yourself. It could be war wherever. So right now, there's a war on this land that's economic and as American people, we're so in the dark about it and it's happening so fast that we aren't prepared. And we've sat back and we've used AI and AI it was, it was such a great thing. They've added to society and just don't know. It was planning on using AI to take over people's jobs. And that's why I encourage people to get into this digital age. Learn YouTube. People look at me and they might be like, oh man, you too old to be doing YouTube. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't care about what nobody say, because at the end of the day that you have to create multiple streams of income and not the old way no more, because the old world is going away slowly, but surely. Now, mind you, there still may be some people that may be needed, like welders, engineers and stuff like that. Yeah, the regular nine to five people, you got to watch out. These hybrids have a greater infusion of reptilian DNA than the general population, although we have a lot. And therefore, the resonance is sympathetic to the resonance of these entities operating just outside visible light. And through this resonant connection, like two radio stations talking to each other, the possessing entity outside of visible light can control the thoughts, actions, perceptions of the intermediary, the demigod. And of course, the theme of possession Man, is as old can. as history, right up to the present day. This image symbolizes the fact that he looks at him with invisible light <clears throat> and he sees George Bush, nothing else. What people don't see, because it's outside the frequency range of their decoding system, is there are um, entities around these people who are actually controlling these people's um, thoughts, actions, etc. A number of psychics have said to me around the world how they've seen people walking along the street or wherever, and then they've seen like an ethereal reptilian entity locking into these bottom two chakra points, the emotional uh, level, one of them is, and floating around with them. This range of frequency we call our world is being manipulated from vibrational frequencies beyond it. And Satanism is a network with invisible light that interacts with these reptilian entities in various ways okay. our planet is moving away from our sun at six inches a year you guys know that 15 centimeters a year our planet is pushing away from the sun so in less than uh, half a billion years our planet will be out of the goldilocks zone will be somewhere near where mars is somewhere halfway between there so life will not be able to sus be sustained on this planet anymore so if we're going to be able to a to sustain ourselves as a species, we have to become interstellar. Not just interplanetary, we have to become interstellar. But with approximations, you cannot become interstellar. You cannot become interstellar with a, a point that will take you all the way over here with a straight line when the actual event is taking place over here when you're going 600 quadrillion miles. You can't make a mistake, you need precision. And that's what the math is about. These pieces predict the natural distri distribution of matter and the distribution of where you can find yourself in that space. And I'm confident behind it. For 40 years, I've worked on this. And um, I think it's ready. Told you. Gotta watch him. Shit's getting weird. Part infinity. This morning, a story out of Mott Haven where residents say they're outraged. Apartment managers say all door cameras, like, you know, ring or blink cams, they must be removed from their apartment building. News 12's Ellie Marillo talked to those residents who are mad and afraid. 
For Maria Telechia, security is a main priority. She says a recent notice from management is taking away something that keeps her safe. Where in my lease it says I cannot have something to protect myself. Telechia says a letter sent to all residents at her Cypress Avenue apartment building demands door cameras be removed by May 16th. The letter specifies if residents do not comply, the cameras would be removed by staff and a lease violation would be issued. We reached out to management for a statement they responded saying that the property has multiple layers of security. They added that some residents have expressed concern about cameras violating their privacy. For these reasons and others, management is requiring residents to remove ring cameras installed without permission. Huh? It's a violation of privacy for me to have my own camera for my protection, but you have cameras all throughout the complex? Huh? <laughs> I heard this and I was like, this don't make no sense. This is one of those things. It's like, this makes no sense. You're charging me high rent and now I can't even protect myself? Oh, no. I feel like the only reason they want y'all not to have cameras is because you might catch them doing stuff or maybe not doing stuff when they're supposed to be doing stuff. Yeah, that too. Like fixing stuff around the apartment complex. You can catch them on that. They can control their security fee, but they can't control you. Mm. <laughs> See, and <laughs> we are getting so far away from humanity, bro. It is crazy. You actually d ditch the apartments. I'm just telling everybody, ditch the apartment complexes. Not all apartment complexes do this, but as you can see, there are some that does, right? But this is how you know we're getting so far away from humanity where you can't even protect yourself. And they say that it's a violation of privacy. Whose privacy? I want to know who walk who's walking up to my door. The Terrence Howard linchpin. You know... Did he just tell us how they made the pyramids? Hear me out. Hear me out for a second. Hear me the fuck out. I was re-watching the podcast. And he talks about when he's introducing the linchpin tangential flight, right? He says this is the end of cranes. And then you see it picking up weights. We wondered. We've marveled at how the hell did the Great Pyramids of Giza get those stones that were cut out of quarry hundreds of miles away and then brought to Giza. Did he just show us that they had this technology? If you follow the Anunnaki story, Inky and Il, they how they had made these 90 degree cuts in granite which our technology today cannot duplicate and these tombs that these pyramids were aquifers they were not tombs you know what i mean where they buried egyptian kings no 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 they were electrical wi-fi transmitting devices and if they had this hydrogen duplicate atom tangential flight technology Imagine what they can fly across these huge stones. Mm. Yo, you guys can say whatever you want about Terrence Howard, but watch later on. Later on, if, 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 if he's still alive. Oh, my God. I think yeah, he I just, just showed us that. how they built the pyramids. And the closest type of technology we've ever had in today i am scared for this man's life i'm telling you re-watch the video watch it the more they connect the heavier the things they can grab and they just connect and connect and connect yo did terrence howard just basically prove how they built the pyramids Tell me on bug. Watch it. Go go back and watch it. I can't play the video because of. Go watch it. Watch it.
Man, I got to go do some more research on that linchpin. But Terrence has been he he's been on he's been on one lately. I don't know I don't know, man. And there's no way he's letting out all this information and figuring out stuff that's probably already been figured out, but has been hidden and nobody has touched him. It's weird to say. It's weird to me. It really is. What y'all think about that one? The same way I might add in the 2020 election, President Trump voted from behind the desk in the White House in Florida. I know the fuck he did not just say the White House in Florida. What White House in Florida? Sir, do you not know where the fuck you live? Because you currently reside in said White House, but that it's not in Florida. I can, you can't make this shit up. You cannot mm -hmm. make this shit up. Anybody that defends this man is not seeing these fucking videos. Because we're not exaggerating. He is not all there mentally. He's not. The hell the fuck is he running this country? Clearly it's not him running it. But whoever mm. is pulling his strings need to write his speeches a little bit fucking better. But I guess let me know if y'all find that White House in Florida and we'll go visit the motherfucker. Meanwhile. Count one, guilty. Count two, guilty. Count three, guilty. Count four, guilty. Count Trump is being accused, so there won't be an election. I can't make this stuff up. Here are the record water temperature anomalies um, the year of Hurricane Katrina. Um, and here's what it looks like this year. And the levees were, after Hurricane Katrina, these levees were uh, built up to withstand Category 4 hurricanes because Category 5 ones would be too expensive. People are going to die because of this. There's no... What the fuck have I been saying? I'm just going to put up a... a Unlimited, I sort of a limited list of the things that Trump has said he would do in 2025. Mass layoffs of civil servants and replacing them with loyalists. Terminating the Constitution. Politicizing the DOJ to investigate his political adversaries. Bomb Mexico. Shoot migrants. Electrify the wall. Uh, no two-state solution in the Middle East. End birthright citizenship. Revoke student visas for ceasefire protesters. Um, re re reinstate and expand the Muslim ban gut the EPA, exit the Paris Climate Accords, a national ban on trans care for minors, punishing hospitals that provide any transgender care, teaching what he calls patriotic education, terminate the Department of Education. I could go on allowing states to punish women as they see fit, uh, enforce the Comstock Act to buy an abortion nationwide. I mean, the, the, I'm just going to put up a... a I'm just gonna put up a, a unlimited, I sort of a limited list of the things that. Yeah, I can't confirm that he said any of that, but uh, let's go back to Mexico and not the bombing part. Like, I don't agree with that. We need to bomb anything. I think that there are better solutions than bomb and stuff. But he has always been stressing about making people come over here legally, not just giving people a, a pass. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of agree with that because that stuff makes it harder on the actual American. When people will come over here and work for pennies and work their butts off for it, that makes it harder on the actual American who's been here and who, who deserves more. You feel what I'm saying? So you go back, they go back to all these things that he said and you look here in the present in 2023 when all of those people were coming across that border and nobody has talked about it since in a while is this stuff even handled so i'm just saying and and, and if they did handle it where did those people go nobody's talked about the the police officers who were attacked by these people who came over the border a group of migrants in new york city are arrested after attacking nypd officers in times square nobody's talked about that They've been keeping it under wraps. So I don't know, man. Can you say this man was really being harsh when you got people coming over here from other countries doing this dirt to our people here? I'm just saying, bro. It's something to think about. Does anyone remember when Tyler Perry made a replica White House in 2019? Do you remember when this gentleman used to sit at a tiny school desk to sign documents? See, here's February of 2019. And nothing's there. 
And here is November of 2019. And huh, will you look at that? I mean, you can go to Tyler Perry's website and see this for yourself. Maybe you want to see this room. I mean, here's Tyler Perry himself walking through, showing you the White House replica. To I remember the that. Even down to the paintings on the wall. So I'm just wondering, why was he signing documents on a tiny, tiny desk for the good plus one year? And if you really do want to get down the rabbit hole, well, there's some stuff out there that would blow your mind away to where you could see reflections, trees that were not sitting right, but they do in uh, this spot. And you know, if you look totally different, that's another thing. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Take care. God bless. A lot of weird stuff going on out there, man. Okay. Hey, I want y'all to see this, all right? Now, she already don't look fucking normal, okay? The bitch don't look fucking human, all right? I, as soon as I seen the bitch, I said, what the fuck? And she clearly had some shit going on in her fucking eye, right? Some dumbass talking about it was an eyelash. No, bitch. That was a fucking fly that came out that bitch eye, okay? A fly, okay? A fly that came out her fucking eye, okay? And then she twitched. She definitely felt that shit come out her eye, bitch. It wasn't a fucking eyelash or nothing like that, bitch. Because if it was an eyelash, it wouldn't have been... It, come on now. That was a fucking fly. This bitch... First of all, and it's a reason behind this, y'all. It, it really is. I remember somebody breaking down the whole concept. Of, and the bitch went in her mouth. It went in her mouth. It went in her mouth. It went in her motherfucking mouth, bitch. Ugh. And she swallowed it. Oh, she, she did, bro. It, I bitch. it didn't come out. Oh, she said. Like it was hard to swallow. What the fuck? What the? Bro. Fucking swallowed it. Oh, my fucking gosh. Oh my Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, and the shirt has a little something on the back too. But you'll have to buy the shirt to see that. <laughs> yeah, it 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 it, it kind of all of this kind of you know, intertwines with what's on the back. So yeah. It's wild out here, man. We, America, are actively preparing for war with China. China's the number one national security threat to the United States. Over 30,000 Chinese migrants have entered. We are anticipating some kind of conflict. Breaking news coming out in the last 24 hours that America is actively preparing for war with China over the growing fears of a Taiwan invasion. And take a look, this coming out just in the last 24 hours, any direct conflict between the U.S. and China could easily spiral into World War III. A lot of people saying that this could be the beginnings of World War III. Many saying we're already in it and we're already failing with the Biden administration. Now, with both China and the United States in possession of nuclear weapons, that could destroy the planet. And new reports coming out, and I'm going to be sharing with you the video footage that 30,000 Chinese nationalists have entered the United States illegally since October with the open border policies of the current Biden administration, raising Toast. national security fears. And this comes as over the weekend, I shared with you that the United States said they were deeply concerned over China's military drills in the Taiwan Strait. The State Department says that they are preparing for war with China, and China has stated that they do plan to invade Taiwan, and when they do so, if the United States intervenes, that they will be hitting us as well and we've heard these warnings from the fbi i shared with you the chinese government poses broad and unrelenting threats to u.s critical infrastructures the fbi director says these warnings coming out and they're saying that right now the united states is preparing for war with china and this could lead to world war three now i'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage as to what's happening with chinese nationalists entering into the united states and also if you want to hear about cyber attacks and systems shutting down in the u.s attacks on u.s soil stick around to the end i've got some more updates on that as well but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and dive into the latest information the video footage and before we do do me a quick favor if you appreciate the updates even though it might not be the news that we want to hear but you appreciate staying up to date do me a quick favor hit that like button subscribe to stay up to date it's totally free why not i'll keep you up to speed on everything and with that i believe it but then i don't believe it but there was no coincidence when those people came over the border and most of them wouldn't even tell you where they were from and and we've been talking about this and they've been talking about this war with china for so long i don't even know what to believe anymore have you seen china's army in formation i mean once upon a time the u.s army used to be like that just practicing formation 
every day, 24 seven. Like it was never a day off, but now they're so loose. And, and they have so much leeway. They're over there doing TikToks. People are in the army literally doing TikToks. Like it's for play play now. If, if you ever went and looked at the how serious China's army is, this will let us know as an American people, we cannot just trust our army. Okay, the equipment won't work if some of their soldiers are already here on this land and we, we don't have that equipment. So that's something to think about. I digress though. One in the green blazers is this in Antarctica as well as this is set off again. But before we get into that, let's talk about them saying that the temperatures in our oceans are rising for a really bad hurricane season. So I'm going to move this across real quick and you're going to see it go from 86 all the way to 82. So now let's go one year back to the exact day. Now you tell me, does anything look like it dramatically changed in an increase in temperature? And here's another thing. When this thing is growing, you see how this is spiraling right here? And that's on the 29th of this month. So I mean, seriously, could we be seeing a hurricane within the first two weeks of June? Now back to this, where you see in two days from a year ago, it shot up out of the sky. And then this... And then it comes back on 520 to be activated, as you see. And by the way, when the wave was started coming out of the island, look at this image that took place right then and there. Does that not look like a wave? And one other thing, will people stop watching my lives to steal my work and then make a video saying that they thought of this all on their own? Take care. God bless. They got so much stuff planned. I don't even know what to. Should I even talk? Because y'all already know. At this point, y'all already know. The G word is full of bull crap. You already know. China warned the United States to end all visits to Taiwan and adhere the one China policy or be ready to face the consequences. Speaking of formations. We ain't looking like that, y'all. Wang 坚持实战实训，连战连训，坚持暗钢实训，从严实训。Them folks ready, man. Here, no sacrifice. Bro, they so ready, man. This is the storyline, right? This is gonna help blow this sucker in the smithereens. China versus the US, the changing of world orders. But in my opinion, the United States of America is going to win this battle. Not the United States, because that's a corporation, but the United States of America. This is why it's so important to know what you hold, 
Let's go. That's a positive way to look at things. I like him. I think I might follow him. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. China know that when you operate in fear, that is a weakness. That makes you vulnerable. And they operate with no fear. They operate knowing that, that when they go to war, this could be their last time. And they may never see their families ever again. So with that locked in their head, they're going at this war relentlessly while our soldiers are doing TikToks and becoming TikTok stars. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with that, but when you join the army or you join the military, right? You have to understand the, the military protects an entire country and, a, and an entire country of people. So you should take that or it should be taken as seriously as it sounds. Am I right or am I wrong? But we're not doing it. We are so relaxed that if they bomb something right now, most of the foot soldiers wouldn't even know what to do. Most of them would probably be scared to death to even do anything. Most of them probably wouldn't even possess the brain capacity at the moment of an attack to think correctly to use their basic training. I'm just saying, as an American, just a regular American, that should scare the hell out of you. Because that means if they're weak, then the barrier between us and them is weak, which means we have to protect ourselves. And if we're weak and we haven't been getting prepared, then it's a lose-lose situation. Now, I'm not here to talk bad things or say anything negative. I'm just speaking the possibilities of what could go wrong and why we need to be prepared. I'm never here to be negative but I'm always here to keep people on their toes. I feel like that's one of my calling because I'm a what ifer and being a what ifer involves thinking of the possibilities if something actually does go bad. And because I think this way, it puts me on the forefront of things and makes me a little bit more prepared than the person who said, oh, the army's got us. And maybe they do. If they do, then salute to them. But if not, I'm going to be ready. And like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button so they can put me back in the algorithm because YouTube has been stripping me. And subscribe if you haven't already. Get in the description. Hit that link. Head over to Rumble. Hit that follow button. We, had, we, had, we need 10 more, you guys. Just 10 more. And we'll be there, right? And go purchase your shirts, man. They're available right now. So go ahead and support that. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.